I hit another goal, y'all. <laughs> Woo! So, I earned $400 because I did 45 rides. So happy. So proud of myself. Um, But let's talk about the fact that I have been having major clashes with fairs who are older men and they try to intimidate me i don't know what that's about but they need to cut that shit out because i'm not the one all right i'm not the one don't get in my car trying to tell me how to drive don't get in my car telling me that i passed you up no you weren't where you put your location to be so i go where the location says and nowhere else and if you did change it call me and let me know like communicate that's all it takes I had a guy yesterday, he was having a bad day, so he got in my car and he wanted to tell me that I was wrong. But I was like, bro, when I pulled up, I saw you standing there. I called you four times. Did you answer your phone? Well, I shouldn't have, no, did you answer your phone? No, I didn't. I was like, well, I was sitting here and I tried to contact you to let you know that I had arrived, but you were not answering your phone. So what else would, was I supposed to do, sir? It was goddamn crickets. Goofy ass. But other than those negative Nancy's, I earned four hundred dollars. I earned four hundred dollars. So yeah, I get to relax for the weekend. I get to chill. Um, my mom's gonna be gone again. Hey girl. Bye girl. So I get to have a quiet, quiet Sunday morning. I'm looking forward to it. I got to do something to this head. I'm low-key thinking about putting faux locks in my head. Like some quick little short ones. Because guess who's tired of doing her hair? Me. So yeah. So let's see if the next the next little excerpt that will be added into this nice little um, vlog is going to be me doing faux locks. That, that, that would be fun, right? But it won't be a tutorial. I'ma just be speaking my mind. Don't think y'all getting that up out me. It ain't happening. So I'll see y'all on the flip side. It's Saturday, 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 Saturday. Hey y'all. Um, I'm trying to work on looking here at the camera, which is looking at you guys, and not looking at myself. See the difference? This to that this to that um today i am looking at my very first apartment over in ukrainian village now it is a may 1st move in which technically i could do but i just want to stack just a little bit more money so i just want to go and see like an actual apartment in like in life like i really want to see it in person um so i already spoke to the landlord seemed like a chill guy he said he actually lives where he lives in the area where i live now but he has his property here in the city um and this is kind of going um it is counter to what i said that i would originally do which is to be like five ten minutes away from where i live now but i just thought that I have to weigh my options because I also want to live in an area where it's easily accessible to train, bus, um, the freeway is not that far away, um, and it's around, but most importantly, it's around things that I want to do, and I can, like, easily get downtown because I like going out sometimes, so um, that's why I'm looking to come closer in the city um, and things of that nature, but... As I was driving here, I thought about something. This will be my first time moving, and I will not have the assistance um, from any male at all, like, period. Like, it's little shit. Like, you don't realize it until you're, like, really doing something on your own or, like, that you're really, like, 
solo dolo out here in these streets by yourself like yeah my dad doesn't live far yeah my stepdad comes in town but these men are all 60 plus so you know how much are they really able to help me with moving so i already intended on getting movers but it's just little things like who's gonna mount my tv like this this is just shit that i never had to ever think about before so ladies if you guys have moved and if you've especially if you've mounted a tv um drop a comment below because i don't know how to do that shit i don't know i don't know how to do this shit i ain't got no male friends out here like that um because just in my my age of being 31 like i don't have time to be entertaining men who want to act like they your friend because they trying to fuck i don't i don't have time okay i just don't have time so i don't i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do what am i gonna do y'all i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know what i'm gonna do but i guess i'll get to um i'll cross that road when i get to it um maybe this guy will let me video the apartment i'm not sure but i'm also gonna ask him if he has other properties as well that will be available for um a june one moving um just because like i said i want to have a little bit more time to stack some bread um and not feel rushed coming back from atlanta when i travel for work because we're doing uh, we're going to the world natural hair show in atlanta at the end of april now if this is a may one move in that means i only have like a week to come back and like start getting shit i don't, I don't do all that so may will give me enough time to move around secure movers have give me enough time to go to my storage space and start throwing shit away because what i'm not finna do is move a lot of shit that i have not touched in two years into this new place i'm not paying nobody to lift that shit i'm not unpacking that shit none of that so yeah i also think um i may go to batter and berries again to this weekend um and read my new book children of blood and bone by tomi adeyemi i think i'm probably saying that wrong um but my nigerian people forgive me um yeah i don't know i'm just in a very somber no not somber i am in a very melancholy place mentally today so i could say forgive me for the lack of energy but i i'm learning to never apologize for where i am in the moment because it's my journey it's how i feel it's what i'm going through so yeah side of it so I really like this space but it's a May 1st move in I don't know if I'm ready by May 1 so we'll see Yeah, this person's done. So this is the neighborhood. Same thing. 
Okay, so the apartment was, yeah, it was just all right. The location is just really, really good. Um, what I didn't like about the apartment was the landlord didn't give me a feeling as if he does much um, to repair um, the apartment in between tenants. So, like, I just saw very fine details of, like, peel and paint, like, doorways that needed to be repaired and I don't think that he's about that life I don't think he's about you know keeping the space up to a certain standard and I don't want to live like that so um actually on my way to go see a new space which is a little bit closer in so we'll see how that goes the appliances look really nice from what the pictures were so yeah but i actually just came from battering berries having a little solo dolo saturday breakfast i think this is actually gonna become like my thing um as far as getting up and going and just having like a quiet moment and like i brought the book and i read and i'm just you know i'm out of the house it's something for me um, because, you know, working 40 hours a week and then doing another 20 hours um, of driving lift, you know, that does tire me out. So, this is just something so I can treat myself weekly. Um, but, surprisingly, today somebody treated me. So, shouts out to him. Um, that was a nice little surprise. But, um, yeah. So, free meal had... Nice little quick conversation with somebody that want to have a little conversation. So, yeah. Let's see how this next apartment looks. Mm. Okay, so this is another space. So, this is the living room area. Appliances, cabinets, this is one of the bedrooms in the closet, the bedrooms are small as shit, but who really needs all that stuff? And here's another room, which I could put like my dresser and clothes and stuff like that in here, a vanity. Here's the pantry. This back area seems like it's storage and it has a wash and dryer back here. I really like this one. Now this I might move May 1 for. Like real talk. Real talk. I have to see how I can possibly make this work. Big huge cabinets. Okay, so I like this place and I'm kind of getting excited. So I'm actually going to ask the realtor, um, just confirm what the amount of rent will be each month, um, when the move-in is, and yeah. 
so we'll see okay so um i need to get some steam off right so i reserved this room at the rage room here in chicago where you get to bust up all type of shit like plates computers printers ocd players so i'm so ready for this i brought my gym gloves so i can get a good grip on um the sledgehammer on the golf clubs um crowbars all of that because i'm ready to fuck some shit <laughs> all right so you guys are gonna get footage of that and i'm ready for the release Okay, I started a little early here. You wanna say something for the vlog before I shut the door? I'm ready to fuck some shit up. <laughs> awesome. All right, enjoy yourself. How you feeling? I feel nothing. <laughs> awesome. 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 It's a good workout, right? It's therapy. Come to the rage room. Awesome. So you can pass the shit. Yes, please plug us. It's so smart. It's so smart. It's so smart. Oh. 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 just got back from the rage room and when i tell you 
that that was the best $28 what I think I spent 42 because then I did the place that y'all saw so that was the best $42 because those were 14 it's $14 for a stack of plates um best $42 that I've spent in quite some time that feeling of letting off frustration irritation whatever emotions if you're hurt if your feelings hurt go to the rage room if you're pissed off go to the rage room if somebody died that you love and you sad about it take your ass to the rage room because baby when i tell you that feeling of literally being able to physically release all of those emotions and there there be absolutely no repercussions um, negative drawbacks, like it's a safe space to do that. That ain't nothing but a blessing. That ain't nothing but the Lord. That ain't nothing but the Lord. But yeah, that is um the highlight of my damn weekend between those um that bomb ass apartment that I saw and um getting to smash some shit. Ooh. I am happy 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 and forgive um the direction of the video i did try to tell the guy who worked there um to do it in landscape but you know everybody don't listen in common sense ain't that common so it is what it is y'all saw y'all saw what time it was i had great shoulders back a little workout my butt cheeks my glutes are feeling a little bit tighter yeah man it's, it's a nice little workout it has multi it's a multi-purpose experience how about that um tomorrow i ain't doing much of nothing i ain't doing much of nothing but me and you got something to do right now can you guess what can you can you let me remind you i need for you to click subscribe I would like and greatly, dearly, dearly appreciate for you to click that bell. Because you never know what adventures I'm going to go on. You never know. Summer's coming up. And the shit that I can get into when I'm by myself. Stay tuned, people. Stay tuned. Nah, but for real. Go ahead, subscribe, comment. Have you been to the Rage Room? Is there a Rage Room in your city? Do you want to go to the Rage Room? Are any of my friends coming to Chicago this summer? And I will take you guys to the Rage Room. It's going to be so much fun. Um, share. Share again. Comment again. You know. And I'll be here same time, same day, next week on Wednesday. Adios. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.